Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tempest, or Gadget First, depending on where you're watching this video. Um, today we've got the full review of the Sapphire HT7870 XT, a really, really interesting card, um, basically built off the same core as what you'd find in the higher end 7950. Um, so, and it's, it's quite significantly cheaper um, compared to Sapphire's own 7950, so uh, this should offer quite good value should the performance be up there with the 7950. Uh, there are some compromises to be made with uh, comparisons to the 7950. Um, it has a lower um, bandwidth memory. Uh, I think it's 284 bit rather than 300, 256 bit rather than 384 bit. And there's two gigabytes of it versus three gigabytes. Um, but on the whole, um, there's not too much difference. On the core itself, um, you're sacrificing some shaders. Um, but this actually um, out of the box comes at a much higher clock than the 7950 so that kind of um, compensates for it which you'll see in the scores in just a second I was really impressed with the Sapphire 7870 when it came to the 3D Mark uh, benchmark we used Fire Strike on default settings and uh, between the 7950 and the 7870 XT um, there was no difference pretty much at stock um, settings just out of the box you're paying maybe a £30 or £40 premium for nothing with the 7950 uh, when it comes to this benchmark here. Uh, it's a different story when you overclock though. Uh, the 7950 really is an overclocking beast. Um, the 7870 overclocks really well as well. Um, but when it comes to the 7950 it's in a different league when it comes to the overclocking. So you can see a score of nearly 8,500 points uh, with 3D Mark Firestrike. So, um, uh, for overclocking, so far it's looking as if the 7870 isn't as good as the um, 7950. Um, but if you're going to take it out of the box and just put it straight in and be done with it, um, it's looking like quite a good choice. But obviously, you'll have to look at some games first. Um, we tested a variety of games, so obviously, we'll see um, just whether um, the games you run run well on this card and whether the overclocking scales nicely. The Valley benchmark is a brand new benchmark from Unigen and it really shows off what um, computers nowadays can do. Um, I, I was really interested by the results from this. Um, at stock clocks, the 7870 is actually beating the 7950 um, by quite a large margin, really. Um, almost by about like 200 marks, so that's really impressive. Um, once overclocked, the 7950 still um, overtakes the 7870 XT. Um, but you know the delta is a lot smaller than it was with uh, 3D Mark, so that's really impressive from the 7870 XT. On to our first gaming benchmark now. Uh, Battlefield 3 was another interesting one. Um, even at stock clocks, they're both pretty much the same. Um, but as we've seen um, in previous synthetic tests, um, the uh, 7950 once overclocked completely obliterates it, getting about 123 frames per second versus just over 100 for the 7870 XT. So it really does beat it when it's overclocking out of the box. Really, really good performance from the 787. But the darkness was gone to me. And everything I thought I knew, I came to doubt. Nobody ever walks here. Neither people nor beasts. Even the rats are absent. Some say it's the voice of the tunnels. Others consider it to be a form of psychic influence. Remarkable it must be to see the world through your... The 7870 XT is once again showing that it is king of the hill when it comes to value. Um, in Far Cry 3, it's actually beating the 7950 by 5 frames per second at stock clocks, and it, they're around the same once they're both overclocked, so really, really testament to the ability of the 7870 XT. The story is much the same with uh, the original Crisis, um, testing the original Crisis with the benchmarking program uh, that's included with it, shows that the 7870 actually beats the 7950 at stock clocks, and they're around the same. Uh, the 7950 just slightly edging it out once they're both overclocked. Um, but really, this is really impressive from 7870XT. Um, we're going to have a look at some temperature um, graphs now to see just how they compare when it comes to temperature. So 
so yeah, pretty much everything uh, about this card regarding performance is really, really good. It's pretty much got the best bang for buck ratio um, you can get at the moment. It's pretty much the 560 Ti of its generation. Um, so let's look at uh, the temperature now. Um, the 7870 is pretty good when it comes to temperature. The Sapphire Edition um, of this card runs at 55 degrees um, in our test system. Um, and that was at stock. Um, and every, the case was closed and everything. It's not like it's an open test bench where it has lots of air. It's a real life uh, situation. And um, so yeah, 55 degrees. Um, that's flat out at stock speed is really good. Um, that's the exact same temperature as what we got with the 7950 at uh, stock clocks as well. Um, so stock clocks at least, it's a really nice cool running card. Now when they're overclocked, uh, both of them pretty much perform the exact same. Um, you know, high 60s, almost touching the 70, uh, 70 degree barrier, but both staying under it, um, under long durations of gaming. Um, when you compare the two cards um, from stock to overclock, there is a big difference. Like it does increase the temperature a lot. Um, but you know, it's nothing to be worried about really. It's not going to degrade the card too much. Um, you know, you're going to be replacing the card um, before it dies of being overclocked. Um, so now let's just take a look at the card itself, just the aesthetics of it. Um, I really do like what Sapphire has done here. Um, you've just got this little plastic shroud. Um, over it, which kind of looks like something you'd see out of um, Batman. I really do like it. It's pretty much the same as what you get on the 7950 and their other dual X uh, called cards. Uh, this isn't the Vapor X edition, like Sapphire also um, have Vapor X cards. The 7870 XT does not come in a Vapor X format, um, but I would, wouldn't be too surprised if they released that um, in the near future uh, before the next generation of cards. So yeah, it's a really nice looking card, it's cooled perfectly, uh, never gets too hot, and it plays the games almost as well as the 7950 for about 30 or £40 pounds less, which is real testament to the value of the card. So I can't really recommend this card enough, um, really brilliant, so cheers for watching, and you may as well get this if you're looking for a good card under £200.